The IIA's Sunday School program is set up to teach Islam to children starting at the preschool level and up to high school. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the pre-kindergarten class. Uh, in this class, we teach them the religion in a more activity-wise based uh, area. It's mostly in English because these kids are mostly, they mostly speak English. I attract them in a way where they won't forget the lesson. It's activities, it's um, who is Allah, Allah is one. It's arts and crafts, but in the most admirable way ever. They always remember, I always have this five minute review in the beginning of class. And by the end of the class, they always want to come back, alhamdulillah. Our creator, what did Allah do for us? Made everything. <laughs> made everything, including even us. even us, okay? And when he made us, what do we say? When he gives us everything that we want. We say, before we eat, and what do we say after we eat? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Shaitan by saying, Everyone all together. The program covers Islamic rules, guidelines, theology, and history. So then, why would the Prophet pursue knowledge from the cradle? So even when you're a little baby, just born, how, how does that make sense? No, it's them, right? Because they haven't even heard their name yet. But once, you know, as a child, you hear your mom saying, let's say your name is Donna, right? So you hear Donna and Donna, and then I'll finally click that my name is Donna, right? So even a child, imagine, so you're just born out of the womb. You know, you're tired and you're in this weird place, you know, you're, you're cozy. So even from, a, from infancy, like you're, you're just a child, you're just a newborn infant, you can still learn, right? But even throughout your lives, uh, even outside of school, it's really important to pursue knowledge, and that's why everyone's here, right? Sunday school. So maybe you know we don't discuss math or science or other. We discuss things like uh, Islamic ethics, right? We discuss how to pray. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, we have a very wonderful class that is very attentive and very uh, respectful. They always um, look forward to participating and uh, giving and contributing to the discussions that we have in, in class. Um, we focus a lot of uh, our attention on uh, like miscellaneous issues that revolve around the Muslim in the West and how they deal with their issues regarding how to be a stable Muslim in a society that doesn't really recognize Islam. Uh, but still also uh, managed to you know, fulfill the requirements of a Muslim and whatnot. And uh, alhamdulillah, we're able to uh, focus on these issues and uh, have these discussions amongst each other. And I really believe that it's these, uh, it's these sort of topics that gravitate and uh, grab the attention of, um, of our, our wonderful students here, uh, which motivates and inspires them to come by every uh, every week uh, because who wants to wake up on a Sunday uh, uh, morning and whatnot but alhamdulillah um, it's a truly it's a blessing to have um, people that are interested in these sort of topics and discussions and that's why uh, this is such a, a wonderful event and a wonderful occasion to have. Students meet in the prayer room to perform prayer and dua. Then students proceed to class. Students will learn wudu and salah. This program is in English. Now by, by reflecting Oh, remembering death can reach to a level where the person praying will pray as if it is their last prayer. Assalamu alaikum. So I teach fifth grade class and the way I attract them is by uh, teaching them in a very holistic way. I put on a lot of videos for them. Um, it is really hard because it is Sunday. That is their vacation day. They do want to take off, but it's, it's better. I, the way I teach them is I, pr I give them the lesson and I follow up with videos and we do activities. A lot of things are hands-on and that's the way to bring them back and they know it's fun. So it's not just sitting in class and um, reading from a book. So that's the way I attract them. Um, so I like Sunday school because it's a fun way to learn about my religion. I can like, expand my knowledge on everything that I don't really know about too much. Assalamu alaikum. I come to Sunday school so because I like my teacher and because I learn how Arabic and Wudu and a prayer and all this good stuff. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Here at the IIA, the Islamic Institute of America, among the several programs that we offer, we have the Sunday program uh, where I also teach him. We discuss several things such as Islamic ethical behavior, Islamic law, and Islamic ethics in general. So for example, we start the day by leading with prayer, 
then we have interactive discussions in class, and then we conclude by having supplication or prayer, congregationally. Uh, we started off with around 80 students, uh, but alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, we've ballooned almost to 160 students now. Uh, as the word got out, people, especially parents, they were really interested in enrolling their, their children, and I think it's a really successful program. It's a once a week program, and parents are really interested in involving their kids more with their religion, with Islam, with ethics, and I think this is why it's such a successful program. While the classes are in session, parents can have breakfast and listen to the Sunday lecture.